Hello everyone and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It's currently Monday the 10th of August. Um, Biggie is here at the moment. He's just nuzzling my foot. I'm reading The Hollow by Agatha Christie. Um, getting some work done as well. I've just been working solidly for about like two weeks. But um, well I've finished editing Jason's book. Jason over at Weird Reads. So that's done. Um, and I've got a couple of other clients where stuff's just on pause at the moment. Um, which means I should theoretically be able to make a little bit of a dent and work ahead so that I can have a few days off or something. Um, but also this, this uh, arts exhibition is going on at the Arts Centre, so I'm, I'm going to be at the Arts Centre Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday probably. Um, I mean, I do get paid for being there. It's nowhere near as much as I get paid for doing my freelance writing, but I do enjoy doing it more. Well, not more, but it's nice to have a variety, and it's nice because it's a charity as well, a non-profit, um, and it's good to facilitate the lo local arts and stuff, so yeah. I also just finished doing this week's radio show, so I guess now I already need to start. Uh, my battery died on this, but I've just put it on to charge for a bit. Um, I've done a bit of pre-recording for my radio show as well. Oh god, there's so much to do. Uh, I'm trying to take advantage of the fact that I've got this evening not off, but you know what I mean. I'm not at the art centre, I guess. Um, because I'll be there a lot this week, so um, keep your eyes peeled for that, I guess, if I get enough time to take any footage. But I do think I've just about got a handle on work and YouTube editing and stuff, so that's good. Yeah. You can literally see the sun coming behind those clouds over there. Yeah. Hello, it is, what day is it Biggie? Biggie, what day is it? I think it's Thursday, oh no. I think it's Thursday. Uh, no, it's Wednesday. It is Wednesday the 12th of August, I believe. Been a busy few days, so um, I mean, I've been at the Arts Centre. Well, the launch was on Saturday, so Saturday, Sunday. Then I was there on Tuesday for the event where we lit it up in red. Hey Biggie, uh, which was very cool because we ended up getting featured um, by a BBC radio station. They put like a video compilation together and put it on social media, so that was cool. Got a little Mr. Man here with me. He's just heard a noise. He's trying to look at the box. That's that's your grandma's birthday present, mate. It's my mum's birthday soon, so I've got her a digital like photo frame thing. Um, I don't think she watches my videos, <laughs> so um, I'm gonna put some load a few photos on that. But Biggie's enjoying looking at the box there. So yeah, I was at the art centre for Tuesday for the light it in red thing. Then today is Wednesday, so I was there for the gallery again. I've got, I'm off tomorrow, and then I'm there Friday, Saturday, Sunday again. Um, so I haven't actually got that much reading done. I'm st I'm still reading The Hollow by Agatha Christie, and I've been watching lots of like these YouTube videos where they do like look into conspiracies and internet phenomenon and all stuff like that. Oh, he's really enjoying this box. It's because I've got his sweet spot here as well. Look, having no bigs. You enjoying that? What are you doing? Oh, I love you, box. I love you, box. Oh, yes. 
are you doing? Okay, well, I'm just going to let him investigate. Oh, he's off. Oh, he's going for a sit. I bet he's going for a sit. There's my book as well. Please don't lose the page, cat. Please don't lose the page. There we go. Thank you. Oh, up, oh. up. Gravity. That's how gravity works, Biggie. Physics. It's, it's pretty cool. All right then, bud. So yeah, that's where we're mostly at. Um, I'm just cracking on and being productive. I've got a few bits to film. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. Say goodbye, Biggie. Say goodbye. Bye bye. Oh, it's well hot. Uh, I'm watching a video on four strange and cursed phone numbers by Mr. Davis, and he called them all. I have some updates, uh, some books to update you on. So I finished off reading The Hollow by Agatha Christie. I've also read, um, that was probably like 3.5 out of 5, it was like mid-tier Christie, I think. For some reason, my brightness is really high up. There we go. That's better. I don't know why my camera's been recording like that, but hey-ho. Um, so yeah, The Hollow was pretty good. Then I had Dr. Seuss's ABC, and over here we have uh, I Can Read With My Eyes Shut by Dr. Seuss. So I finished both of those off. Uh, and I'm, those are both like, again, a pretty average 3.5 out of 5. And then I'm now reading Surprise Surprise by Agatha Christie. Um, this is actually an American release, um, which I hadn't even heard of before. I'm just gonna go through and get this other book. Um, but yeah, it came with a job lot thing that I bought. It's very dark and spooky. There we go. And so, uh, yeah, I thought I'd read that. So it's an American collection. It's got some short stories in it. It's actually got short stories from two different books that I haven't read yet. So I'm going to read those, um, you know, just to, I guess, well, because I haven't read them before, you know, even though I do plan to get to the books that they're from pretty soon, because we're getting towards the end of Christie's stuff now. Et aussi, je lis Les Aventures de Pafi par Anu Gricard. Il y a un livre en français et c'est bon. <coughs> it's an interactive book in French. Um, so it's like a choose your own adventure thing, except I got a little bit confused by it. However, I do like um, Anu Gricard's sense of humour. Um, so there's like magic mushrooms in this. And this is a book for kids and stuff. Uh, I gave this one, this is probably like a 3.25 out of 5, maybe even just a 3 out of 5, um, because I didn't, I don't think the choose your own adventure element worked very well, but I did still enjoy Anu Krikar's, um, sense of humour, as I always do. So yeah, it's currently Thursday, um, I interviewed Stephen Colgan earlier, that's Biggie behind me, he's looking out the window. I interviewed Stephen Colgan earlier, uh, who is a writer and artist, uh, from High Wycombe read some of his books in the past actually some, some one of my early videos was a review of one of his books but um yeah so he's gonna be the next edition of the art show and I went to collect all my books as well that have been uh, an exhibit um, at my friends art gallery shoppy thingy so yeah we did that and then now I've been eating some food and stuff cracking on being productive getting on with some work um, it's currently quarter to ten I'm back at the art center tomorrow Saturday and Sunday so there's that but I'm doing all right with my work I have like six things on my work list to currently do so there have been times recently when they've been like 11 15 18 geez so yeah all is good listen to that rain biggie Flowered in it. Oh, hello, it is I. You have probably just seen my time lapse of me doing some gardening. I will try and show that to you tomorrow. I was at the art centre this afternoon. I actually woke up at 2.20 and I was meant to be there at 2. So I got there at 
worked till five. Uh, then I did some work in the garden and now I'm just being productive. I finished reading Surprise Surprise by Agatha Christie. I've since read Wacky Wednesday by Dr. Seuss. And this one's interesting because it says, uh, by Dr. Seuss, writing as Theo Le Sieg. But like, that's closer to his actual name than Dr. Seuss is. <laughs> But I really enjoyed this one actually, because um, it's like an interactive one almost. It's like ten wacky things happened today, and you have to count all the wacky things in the uh, thing in the in the illustrations. So I gave it a four out of five, and I'm now reading Julius Caesar by William Shakespeare in this stunning Folio Society edition. This is one of the ones I've been looking forward to the most. Biggie's here as well, um, so I'm really enjoying that so far, um, and I'm just catching up with being productive and stuff. I've got so much to do, haven't I, Biggie? So much to do. So much to do! No! No! He's been a very needy cat at the moment, aren't you? Aren't you, Biggs? Oh, and my tripod's at the art centre because I'm going to do a time lapse there tomorrow. It's time lapse mad at the moment, which means these videos I'm going to shoot are going to be from a weird angle. It's a pepperoni pizza, vegan pizza, and I also got chips and uh, nugs and tango. And I'm watching Mr. Davies. Steven. Oh, hello! It is Sunday evening. Sunday, the fifteenth uh, uh, of August. I uh, I'm hungover today. Um, so, I've been at the Art Centre yesterday and today for the exhibition. Um, got a few videos hopefully coming from that. Someone was there with a drone today, which was cool as well. Um, what am I doing? I'm fucking. I had a pizza, a vegan pizza. I ordered a vegan meal deal for two people and ate it by myself. Um, and I finished reading Julius Caesar by William Shakespeare, which I very much enjoyed. Um, and there's a review of that coming soon, I believe. And then, uh, and then I read, I wish that I had duck feet by Dr. Seuss, um, which was amusing enough, I suppose. Um, and so I will not have one. I don't wish to be a whale. I think it would be better if I had a long, long tail. Uh, oh yeah, because if he had big deer horns, he couldn't get on the school bus. So, pointing guns at anyone inside. This is my piece of the shit internet being a piece of shit. Um, I lost my phone, sorry. This is a really unflattering angle. I lost my phone yesterday. I think I had it when I left the pub. But I don't know, I don't know where it is. So, I'm just hoping it's gonna show up. Um, oh, I was also sick, I vomited this morning. For like two hours I was just throwing up. And I didn't think I'd had that much to drink. Um, I think it's probably probably more because I hadn't had anything to eat and I was drinking throughout the day. But um, yeah, so it is what it is. Um, so now I'm going to finish reading If I Rad the Circus. It's my current Dr. Seuss. Um, then the whole tent will ring with hoorays and wild shouts when I wheel in my whales and they turn on their spouts. First my whale number one with a name that aims true. Spouts a spout that spouts Sneelock to whale number two. 
And then whale number two spouts his spout like a gun. And that spout spouts old Sneelock right back to whale one. And then forwards and backwards on spout after spout, my great spout rider Sneelock gets spouted about. Just as long as they're just as long as the water they're spouting holds out. Very nice. Uh you see, it is a good job I've thought about this, right? Because Because I haven't got my phone, because I don't know where it is. Okay, I can't do my Duolingo, so I've just been checking. Um, I've got a streak freeze in place for today, and I can potentially buy another one tomorrow. And I think I can just do it online. I'm confused. Oh, well. Right, anyway, so that's where I'm up to. Um, I'm going to read. I've got one more Dr. Seuss book to read, and then I've finished reading all the Seuss books that, that I received. So um, I'm going to read that and then I will probably, I might read Bicentennial Man by Isaac Asimov because I've been looking forward to that. We'll see. Mm. Biggie's here. Hey Biggie. How are you? You alright? Oh, good boy. Get all the face scratches. We are currently watching Rainbot. Won't we biggie? Yeah. Rainbot is uh, a YouTube channel that does a lot of true crime, but also some like, I don't know, ghosty stuff. A lot about ARGs actually, which are like augmented reality games. Um, I think that's what the A stands for. Which, um, you know, they're like the, the sort of, like one of them, a great one I've been learning about is uh, The Sun Exploded. Uh, it's a Twitter account where this person, basically in their world, the sun had exploded and they were tweeting like clips from the news and stuff. Um, and like saying should I go outside I hear noises and then people were saying like yes or no and uh, it was really cool So yeah Rainbot very cool channel um, So now I'm just being productive. I got up this afternoon and I've done my day's work. I found my phone So that's good. Um, I now I may have six of these cameras. I'm filming on it's the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II um, so Basically, I've already bought I'd already bought two of them for about 300 pounds each and then sold one for 400 pounds And then the other one was obviously my one of them and then yes I've accidentally bought five more of them for about 300 pounds and I'm trying to sell them for about 350 to be fair um, I mean, I don't want to rip anyone off or anything, you know It's just some of them go for more and some of them go for less so like if I put if I list it as um, An auction it probably would go for more than I paid for it um, although maybe not at the moment because this is this is the weird thing is like for eight for I don't know for about a month I think I'd won two of them and then I've won five in like three days. So I'm like oops So that's a lot of money invested in those so hopefully they sell for more than I bought them for or at least, Well, I need to sell them for like 325 minimum I think and then that'll cover PayPal and eBay fees and the postage of it um, So anything above that I think is a small profit and the goal is, is basically keep doing that until I've made the, the £300 that is required for the camera that I bought for myself. And then I got a free camera, basically. Uh, I'm currently reading Bicentennial Man by Isaac Asimov. Um, it's a short story collection. I'm enjoying it a lot so far. Um, what more can I say? Not very much, really. Um, one of the stories I'd already read in a, one of the Asimov collections that I read recently. Um, so I just skipped that, although it was a good one. And actually, it had a different introductory essay. Um, so he normally writes these short introductions at the front of each of his books. Uh, it's got a cool cover as well, look at that. Um, I don't know what this actually is referring to yet. I haven't got to that story, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of cool stuff with him playing with his three laws of robotics. One of them investigates um, a female robot. Um, we also have Dr. Susan Calver is in this, and um, she's one of his, like, um, you know, what's names from back in the day. Biggie, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you having an explore? Look at him. You having an explore? You want to know what's in that hole, don't you, Biggie? Look at that tail swooshing through the air. Look at it. Look at him. Look at him go. So yeah, that's where we're at. Um, I'm currently making a quick book trailer video as well for meat for when that comes out. And what else was I going to say? Oh, I did my walk today. So I went to Tesco earlier and did my walk and um, sent off my latest batch of parcels. Biggie, you're right in the way. Thank you. And so, yeah, now I'm just cracking on with being productive. I think on my list of jobs 
on my list of jobs to do, I think I only have like five jobs where sometimes I've been up to like 18, which is when it gets really stressful. And I'm not due at the Arts Centre till Wednesday, which is why I've got time to do some filming today. So I can also do my next radio show. So I'm going to do that. All right, it's currently 10 past three in the morning of Tuesday. Um, I've still been cracking on with working, but I have made a good dent in things now. I managed to crack on and catch up with most of my videos. I'm just finishing off Bicentennial Man now, so I have about 50 pages to go. And um, yeah, I wanted to round off this vlog as it seemed a good time for it. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.